was born. Then the day before, open any door and say hello, hello, hello. Just say hello, hello. Hello, and welcome to Morning Gathering. Let's start off by taking three deep breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. All right. So by now we all know that the virtue of the month is wisdom. And a very simple definition for wisdom is using good judgment. Using good judgment. Um, that comes from experience. It comes from interacting with others, having conversations, asking questions, and listening. So today I'm going to share a story about a young meadow mouse. And in this story, the meadow mouse gains his wisdom as he experiences uh, life in a meadow. One day, a little meadow mouse was crawling through a field, staring in amazement at the wonders it revealed. The grassy open meadow put his courage to the test, for he had never left the comfort of his mother's nest. He set on on his own to gain some knowledge of the earth to experience the lessons that would shape his sense of worth. Among some tangled reeds, he saw a spider weaving thread. What is it you're doing there? The little rodent said. I'll trap myself some insects with a sticky silver lace. There'll be no escaping once the webbing is in place. The young mouse watched intently until finally she was done. He marveled at the neat design the crafty spider spun. As he continued on among the flowers, leaves, and weeds, the mouse soon found another creature tending to its needs. A black and yellow honeybee was busy at her task. Excuse me, said the mouse. There's a question I must ask. I see that you are busy, but would you please give mention as to why that yellow flower is in need of your attention? I'm out collecting pollen and sweet nectar for the hive pollinating flowers so we all can stay alive. He watched her gather nectar from the blossom's shiny crown. She wore the golden pollen like a sticky yellow gown. I really must be going, the busy bee began to plead. I do have over 30,000 mouths I need to feed. With every new discovery, his fascination grew for the wonders of the meadow from a mouse's point of view. He scurried up a milkweed plant to find a higher seat. And there he found a caterpillar hanging from its feet. Wow, said the excited mouse, that really looks like fun. Completely unaware, a transformation had begun. 13 days, the larva spoke, inside a chrysalis where I will undergo a total metamorphosis. The humble rodent left the brilliant insect to her chore, but he would need a break before proceeding to explore. And so the tired mouse had come to rest upon a stone when suddenly he realized he no longer was alone. The shiny boulder sprang to life and out emerged a head it would seem the unsuspecting mouse had been misled. Excuse me, said the startled mouse. I thought you were a mound. You fooled me into thinking you were made of solid ground. Don't give it a second thought, the old box turtle spoke. I like keeping company with harmless younger folk. You see, not every creature in this meadow is your friend. Some will introduce you to a most untimely end. The mouse gave his attention to the turtle's candid words, 
which warned the mouse of hidden snakes and predatory birds. So far he was fond of all the dwellers in his hood, that is until he came upon a patch of rotting wood. Something in the darkness raised the hair up on his back. The frightened rodent feared he was the victim of attack, remembering the wise old turtle's warning to beware. He ducked behind some thorns without a moment left to spare. Lunging from the shadows was a giant hungry snake. You just made a most delectable mistake. You wandered in my territory. Now this is the deal. You will have the honor of becoming my next meal. The serpent plunged his head inside the twisted tangled shrub and slipped about the pricker bush in chase of yummy grub. Then suddenly the reptile, whose cover had been blown, found that garter snakes are not the masters of the zone. A weasel had the munchies for a long and scaly treat. Who would have thought that snakes are something weasels like to eat? So while the giant monsters kept each other held at bay, it gave the frightened mouse the perfect chance to get away. He came upon a grassy hole, but found it occupied, a mother rabbit caring for her babies at her side. He counted seven bunnies, snuggled tight upon her chest, safe and soundly sleeping in their warm and cozy nests. Hello, said the gentle mom. What brings you to my den? It's dangerous outside, he said. I won't go there again. There's danger, said the rabbit, in this meadow where we live, but also it's a place to learn what nature has to give. Every creature in this field and in the sky above, plays a part in making this the meadow that we love. Each day helps prepare us for the bumpy road ahead. And then the sleepy mouse enjoyed a warm and fluffy bed. The mother rabbit's lesson was encouraging and wise, thought the waking rodent as he rubbed open his eyes. The little guy was not aware of all the hours passed, but knew the sun was setting by the shadows that were cast. Thank you, said the tiny mouse. I'd best be on my way. I need to make my own home in the meadow right away. So once again, he ventured out into the world unknown, wondering if one day he'll have bunnies of his own. Next, the mouse was witness to a most amazing sight, tiny insects dancing in a symphony of light. A friendly band of fireflies was lighting up the sky, brilliant yellow flashes like the fourth day of July. One of those glow bugs brightened up a nearby leaf. How is it you do that? asked the mouse in disbelief. A chemical reaction makes our yellow bottoms glow. It shows us where to find attractive females down below. The conversation ended when from somewhere in the dark, a stealthy bird of prey had made our meadow mouse its mark. The fireflies were flickering like torches on a path to help the fleeting mouse escape the predatory wrath. He scrambled down a rocky trail, his body got the chills, that fast approaching owl is the kind of bird that kills. It swooped in right behind him like a wave upon a beach. The great horned owl nearly had a mouse within its reach. But just before the meadow mouse was taken in its grip, an unsuspected hero helped him give the bird the slip. Another little mouse had come to save his skinny tail by pulling him to safety underneath a metal rail. Thank you, said the shaken mouse. I was almost food. That bird came out of nowhere in a snacking kind of mood. She peered into his nervous eyes and volunteered a grin. You have no idea, she said, the trouble we get in. 
The whiskers on their faces glistened in the summer moon, while a frog and cricket chorus sang a country meadow tune. They sat there underneath the stars discussing nature's way to better be prepared to face the challenge of the day. So I wanted to leave you with a poem um, today. We have a poetry basket in preschool that um, has a collection of poems in it and we sometimes like to pass it around the circle. But I wanted to share the one about the wise old owl with you. A wise old owl sat in an oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why aren't we all like that wise old bird? Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>